80 degrees, your high temperature in Houston on Monday. You like it? Huh? Would it be nice to hang on to that all the way through Christmas week? Oh, well, it's not going to happen. We have showers setting up near Houston right now. Those are just ahead of a cold front. And you can kiss that warm air goodbye. We did here in Dallas. Boom, gone. Temperatures falling below freezing tonight after a high in the mid-70s on Monday morning. That's gone. All the mild air is out to the east of these clouds now. Ridge of high pressure that this storm is kind of bumping into. That's going to win out, though it will weaken somewhat as it heads toward the east coast. Here it is, depicted graphically for you. There's the blue line. That's the indication that cold air is advancing in the direction toward which the points are pointing, toward which these little triangles are pointing. So this cold air is advancing to the east. There's the center of the cold air. Super cold air out here over the plains tonight. Kansas City with a wind chill advisory. You guys certainly know why. In Chicago, it's San Juan. It's windy and cold there tonight with snow showers developing. West side of town, they'll move across the Chicago land area with no accumulation expected. But there will be just a little sign. Christmas is here. Christmas Eve is Tuesday. Can you believe it? We're already here. And uh, just bundle up. Wind chills below zero. Same story for Detroit. After a mild night tonight, cold air pouring in steady or dropping. Up and down the I-95 corridor, cold front will not get there yet, but on Tuesday night, well, I guess that's uh, the orders from Santa's workshop. Get that cold front through, make sure the kids know that this is the season. Oh my gosh. Well, here is the Alaska-Hawaii report. Look at the big swirl in the clouds out here. There's one out here. There's more stormy weather going up in the Pacific Northwest. Just one after the other, but this is really ominous looking. This is why we've got high wind warnings in effect. Strong winds, mid and high levels going over Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa, and Maliatala, or something like that, I forget. And up here in Alaska, we're just plain old cold, brutally cold, my gosh. Even Juno, 23 degrees for high temperature, the sun is super cold there. Makes its way to the east to west across the city. It's been windy. We're about, about 20 below tonight, so bundle up. We're close to zero. Nor did Dawson or Northway in Alaska. Fairbanks, 16 below. And in Anchorage, 20 below. Oh, up-to-date weather information for your neighborhood, only on the Weather Channel.
Right now, it's time for your local forecast on the Weather Channel. today and a frontal system pushing through the area has lowered temperatures some 20 to 25 degrees cooler than they were yesterday at this time and that's due to this front you can see it traced out with the high clouds that we see on the map and as this whole thing is moving out into uh, parts of montana and idaho
think so. It will be a great day for uh, gardening tomorrow. Everyone who had a chance to get those outdoor plants in today, it will uh, probably be fun. Just a nice, slow, soaked moisture happening. We have about 3.6 millimeters here in Calgary. Actually affect you intellectually. That's later on Calgary 7 News.